Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So if you saw the last video, short, short video, you know that um, I I made it to Ikea today. Um, it was absolutely amazing. We were going to do a shop with me, but um, it, it was just way too crowded and we would have been there all day long trying to get like good footage or whatever to put a video together for you. So that just didn't happen. Um, um, tomorrow I'm going to start assembling the pieces. Um, because the store is brand new, um, they still didn't have everything in. So a couple of the pieces that I need, have to have, uh, they didn't have in stock. Um, and the reason why I have to have them is they're, they go on the bottom and everything else goes on top. So... I'm going to start assembling, but until like the 13th or 14th, I can't actually start putting the room together because, you know, <laughs> without having the bottom uh, units, um, I can't really load anything in. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. Um, don't forget to give a thumbs up like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them um, below in the comments. And... Um, you know, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Today, well, this video, I'm going to, I, my Hobby Lobby finally, finally, finally did their clearance markdown. And I got there as they were marking down. So I was fortunate. I hit a lot of the items that I was looking for. And then um, I found a few items that I picked up that were on sale. And so this, uh, this might be a long video. I don't know if it's going to be two parts. If it's two parts, the next part I'll film and share with y'all tomorrow. Um, so just putting that out there, I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to start with some of the items that I didn't get on clearance. I either They were either on sale or I used a coupon on them. So... This one, um, I fell in love with her. I think she's so sweet. And um, uh, I used a coupon on her because she wasn't on sale. Um, I think she's adorable. I haven't decided what's going to go in her yet. I don't know if it's going to be markers or pens or paintbrushes. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make like a some kind of paper flower bouquet. I haven't decided. Um, so she was $13.99 and I used a 40% off coupon. So, so yeah. So there, that's her. Um, this week all the paper studio was 50% off. And so I picked up this uh, Agenda 52 Faith Foiled sticker pack. And I don't... Y'all know me. I never, I never prep anything before I... Um, record. Um, maybe one of these days I'll learn my lesson. Um, until then, I apologize. Um, yeah, this is probably going to end up being a double video. Sorry about that. Okay. Take a peek. Um, tomorrow I am going to be showing a Tuesday morning haul. I also have a small Dollar Tree haul and a small Target haul. And then I have some items that um, came in, um, some monthly kits, subscription kits, and some purchases I made. Anyway, so we're just going to flip through here. Oh, come on. I really love this little sticker pack. So, love, love, love this. So, picked that up. Um, I picked up this La Petite sticker. Um, I've picked this up before, or like a version of it, to go with um, some paper packs that I've picked up. There's that. Um, they had these paper holders. Um, so they were 50% off, so basically I got two for five bucks. These are the only two they had, or I would have picked up a couple more. 
And then the Valentine's was on clearance, or not clearance, 40% uh, off. So I picked up these um, Puffy Hearts, picked up two of those. I picked up these little guys. These are kind of cuter than I would normally go, but I thought they were, I could do something fun with them or gift them, I'm not sure yet. So there's that. And finally found these cute Puffy Hearts that everybody's been hauling. Um, they were hiding behind some other stickers and I was really bummed. I'm like, they're gone, they're gone. And I was flipping some stickers and I heard them shake. And I'm like, ah, yeah. So these were the only three that were there. So I grabbed them because I think, you know, since Valentine's is so close, they're already bringing in the Easter. I think once these are gone, that's it. So I grabbed those. And then I saw this and I... um had these were I think all the wall art was either 40 or 50 percent off I can't remember and so I grabbed this I thought that was going to be really cute for the craft room I'm hoping I can clean it up a little bit they only had three and the other two were like really really beat up so and this was $17.99 and like I said I think it was 50 percent off not quite sure so, grabbed that for the craft room. And now we're going to start with the clearance. The clearance is kind of be is kind of going to be all over the place because I've made a couple of trips. And so I don't have everything kind of like bunched together like I would like to do. Um, I grabbed, I'm slowly gathering the iridescent collection, the Dr. P.H. Martin inks. And so these are normally $8.99 and I got them for $2.24. So I got the Rose Lame. This is, honestly, I don't know. Oh, I think it's Frisket. Yeah, this is Frisket fluid. And this, this is kind of like a masking fluid. Um, for those who aren't aware, Frisket fluid if I had known that, I would have gone and grabbed some. I might go see if they have more of this. Frisket fluid is very expensive. Um, level two. So, yeah, I'm probably going to go see if I can find some more of this. This is really good, like, if you're watercoloring. And um, you wherever you put the frisket, color will not take to your paper. So, normally $10. I got it for $2.49. Then we have sequ 24 are sequins blue this is a copper it's kind of separating already really pretty we have iridescent orchid brass it just looks like kind of like a gold we have metallic green I think I might already have this one I don't know we have amethyst Iridescent Salmon and Iridescent Violet. And this one's already separated. You just gotta, every, probably once a week, I usually go into my room and I shake them up because um, if you let them sit too long, the mica part of it kind of like really hardens and it's hard to mix it up. So just putting that out there. Um, I found this ribbon. I had picked some up. There was some other, you'll see it again later. Um, but $3.99, got it for $0.99. Cents. And so today I picked up two of those. Um, I grabbed the flamingos and the swans. Normally $4, got them for $0.99. Cents. Grabbed the succulent charms. $1.24, normally 5 I went to the wedding section and they had these uh, tulle flowers for 74 cents, normally three. I got them in the pink and the white. I know I've seen them hauled on some other channels and like, um, like a really soft ivory, but my store didn't have them. Then uh, I picked these up. These are um, paper clips and these are the rose gold um, envelopes, 99 cents each. I grabbed these swan charms for $1.24. I 
This little foodie one, it's called Caffeine Friend for $1.24. Uh, I picked this die up for $3.24, normally $13. And you're going to see this one again and this one again because I believe I picked up two um, so that I could use them as giveaways. Um, so normally $13 each, got them each for $3.24. I grabbed this Sizzix Snowflake Fold Along die for $5, normally $20. Um, let's see. They have these uh, Iris um, hanging file holders, three pack. I got them for $1.99. They're normally $8 a piece, so I grabbed the two they had. So I paid $4 for six, so I guess that's a good deal. Then, sorry y'all. Um, they had these like calligraphy sets. Um, this has like your little ink cartridges and then it looks like they have these brush tip um, and chisel tip um, markers in here that you can change this one out. Normally $30 I got them for $7.49 and then I got the brush tip refills. They had them in the chisel tip but I just I don't like those. Um, these were normally $15 a piece. I got them for $3.74 each. Then I got these Agenda 52 um, Happy Thoughts uh, tab dividers. Um, planner's gonna plan. Five dollars. I got it for dollar twenty-four. I grabbed um, the stamps. These are kind of for planners as well. This is Happy Planner. Two dollars. Normally eight. I grabbed this cute little tag set for two dollars. Normally eight. Um, I thought these llamas were adorable. I didn't realize these were stamps. So. This is, I think this will be fun to play with. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. So, but there's that. I grabbed more of the swans, more of the flamingos. The swans are probably gonna be gifted. I haven't decided yet. I was able to get the eyelashes. And um, these will probably be gifted because I didn't realize I had already bought these. Because I went like three or four times this week to see if new stuff was marked down. So there's that. I grabbed these cute little mini um, party pockets. 74 cents each. Got the llamas and y'all know I had to have the pineapples. Um, so one of the other trips I grabbed... Um, the All Seasons and the water Watercolor Love Foiled Sticker Pack. Um, Y'all know I love the little um, LOL girls. So, super, super cute. And again, I bought these with that, um, what, 50% 50 per, 50 off sale. So yeah, so there's that. And the All Seasons. So there's that. Also got these with the 50% off sale, some um, traveler's journals. So these were $4, so I got that one and the eyelash. I also grabbed this TN, uh, normally $30. I got it for $7.49. Let's see. Grabbed these super cute uh, push pin. So I got the camera, the sunglasses, the cute cactus, and the coffee mugs. Snatched up these cute um, paper clip or clothes pins because the a lot of people have been hauling these, and I'm like, you know, I want to start getting into the planner. So I thought this would be fun to create some embellishments. Y'all know I have hauled these before, um, 99 cents. Um, I only grabbed one, more flamingos, more swans. Uh, 
These are art crayons and they're supposed to be like watercolor crayons. Normally $15 a pack, I got them each for three. So we have our blue, this is called Blue Ocean. Then we have the Essential. We have the Lovely Reds and the Green Jungle. So yeah. Here are some more of the ribbons that I picked up. Um, so I have like three of these. I wish I'd grabbed more of that, but I didn't. So my loss, somebody else's gain. I got some bull nose clips for $1.49. Got this set of uh, trim for 99 cents. And let's see. I got this uh, payday foiled sticker pack for $249. It's always good to know when we're getting paid. Grab this tag set for 99 cents. And that is what is in there. I grabbed the pineapple and flamingo paper clips. I wish I grabbed more of those because y'all know how much I love those. Um, again, got this with the 50% the off sale. So this was $2.50 instead of $5. I want to try and save all the dies. Here we go. Um, I grabbed two of these because I have a envelope mini album that I'm going to do a video on and I thought these would be cute. So these are normally four. I got them for 99 cents and there's 12 in each. So I thought that was cute. Let's see. This. I got this fitness foil pack. Normally nine. Got it for $2.24. Um, I used to be a fitness nut um, before I, you know, my back gave out on me and so yeah so I grabbed another one of these and I haven't decided these might go in a giveaway I haven't decided yet grabbed uh, this uh, like foodie stamp set these are the these are both happy planner eight dollars each got them for each a dollar ninety nine love that little coffee mug and the french fries and the ice cream cone. Yeah, love that. Got these botanical... Y'all, I'm tired. It's been a long day. And I love this. This is like travel related. I might do like a travel TN. So, got that. $1.24. Um, I got these um, non-dated monthly calendar pages. Got Donut Worry, Be Happy, and like double-sided note paper. Got this Planner's Gonna Plan, so I like that. I guess I got it twice. Got these cute um, Faith Clear Tabbed Bookmarks. Got this um, dashboard, sticky note dashboard for 99 cents. Grabbed this Documented Love These Moments um, sheets for $1.24. Grab this botanical planner for three dollars and seventy four cents. I was really hoping I could find that you know that cityscape one, the black, and I think it's silver, but um, I didn't see it. But I guess I can't complain because I definitely found everything I was looking for. Um, I guess we'll get to the dye department because it's a little. So I saw these hauled in a couple of other videos. I got the big steel rule die for the um, little planners. So got that. That's like the, the outside. And then I got the inside thinlets as well. So this was normally 30. I got it for 749, normally 20, and I think they were messed up because it was only a dollar twenty-four. I grabbed um, this Thinlets, the Poinsettia, for $4.99. I got the Coffee Mug um, Sizzix set 
for $249. The cute Christmas tree for $324. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So already showed you guys those. So got those. Um, I think I already have this, so if I have this, this is going to go in a giveaway later on down the road. Normally 15 got it for $374. Um, grabbed the Christmas tree and the Santa in these Spellbinders dies. I didn't like the reindeer, so I kind of left him behind. And I almost didn't get the Christmas tree, but you know me, I'm a sucker for shakers. And that's what they showed, so you know that went into my cart. $374 each. Um, I believe I already hauled this, so this is going to go in a giveaway as well. Normally eight for $1.99. This is a 3D embossing folder, and I love these. They're absolutely beautiful. Grabbed these puffy stickers. Um, I love the llama and the pineapple. So these were part of that 50% off sale. So these were $1.25. I grabbed this bow. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or, or if this is going to go in a giveaway because I'm not really big into making bows, but I wasn't going to pass it up for $3.24. I figured this might make a good uh, giveaway item. I grabbed this cute little um, seasonal heart. I'm not a big heart person, but I love the poinsettia on this, so grab those for $2.49. And I have been bouncing back and forth for um, debating whether I wanted the Spellbinders Glimmer system or if I wanted the, um, I think it's Crafter's Companion um, foil, hot foil plate system, whatever that one is. And I decided I'm going to do the Spellbinders. And when I saw somebody haul these, I was like, I have to get there. And um, I mean... A dollar ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine, two forty nine, two forty nine, and three seventy four. So I basically got all of these <laughs> for less than the price of this one. And so now I'm gonna save up my next big purchase is gonna be the Glimmer Hot Foil system. And when I get that, I will be doing a um, unboxing and review of that. So that's that'll be down the road, but it'll be coming. So I'm excited about that. And then uh, they had the, I believe this is their Christmas set. And these were the only two they had out. Um, but I thought these could still be used any, you know, all year long. Normally 15 each and I got them for $3.74. Then um, the rest of this is the Tim Holtz stuff that y'all have been seeing in the halls. I got um, the you know the collage medium, the crazing vintage and matte. I've never used these before, so I'm kind of excited that I'm gonna get to play with them. And the fact that I only got them for three, so basically at less than a dollar a piece. So excited about that. Got the um, these are the only ink cubes that they had on clearance. Two seventy four normally eleven. And I have to check, I might have these. And so if I have these, these are going to go in a giveaway. And then the paints. Um, the Distress Paints. I got two of the Sponge Sugar. Because y'all know me, I'm doing the Craft Room in Pink. So I figured that's going to be some project. And I didn't realize I'd grabbed two of the Silver. The Brushed. I'm guessing this is brushed pewter. There's a little ball in there. You got to shake it up. Um, but again, 99 cents. Then I got the candied apple, the black soot, and the cracked pistachio. So those were the only color. Well, no, that's not true. They had some blues and purples, some colors that I don't think I would ever use. So I left those. Um, uh, darn it. and then I got the distress oxides and I might already have these. So if I already have them, these are going to go in a giveaway as well. So the frayed burlap, the abandoned coral, 
walnut stain, spiced marmalade, wild honey, antique linen, and lucky clover. And I think the only I, I, I think the only one I don't have is I don't have set five. Um, I have sets one through four, I think. So if I um so I think these are in that set, so these are probably gonna end up in a giveaway as well. But I mean five dollars marked down to a dollar forty nine. So basically I got all of this for less than the price of two. So yeah, so there's that. Then I grabbed uh, these Distress Sprays for $2.99, normally $12. It's uh, Bundled Sage, Worn Lipstick, and Chip Sapphire. And I don't have any Distress Sprays, so I thought that's going to be fun to play with. And those are some colors I would definitely use. Then I got these Distress Crayons for $1.99. I don't know why they're taped shut, but they are. And I'm I'm guessing I, I don't I don't know how much they were because there's no sticker on them. But that. And then I got these Distress Markers for $8.74 each. They're normally $35 a tube. So, Tattered Rose, Worn Lipstick, Aged Mahogany, Wild Honey, Scattered Straw, Shabby Shutters, Peeled Paint, Tumbled Glass, Weathered Wood, Victorian Velvet, Gather Twigs, and Picket Fence. Then we have Picked Raspberry, Festive Berry, Spiced Mar Marmalade, Mustard Seed, Mowed Lawn, Forest Moss, Salty Ocean, Peacock Feathers, Seedless Preserves, Vintage Photo, Walnut Stain, and Black Soot. And then Candied Apple, Abandoned Coral, Carved Pumpkin, Fossilized Amber, Cracked Pistachio, Twisted Citron, Lucky Clover, Mermaid Lagoon, Blueprint Sketch, Wilted Violet, Ground Espresso, and Hickory Smoke. So there is that. And then... The total score, I was not expecting. I was walking down the aisle. She picked it up. She slapped a sticker on it and set it back down, and I snatched it up. I have the Color Pillar Pro. It was normally $129, marked down to $35.25. And... I haven't decided because I have a lot of cutters, uh, paper trimmers. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that or if I'm going to gift it. So I, I don't know yet. Um, I'm just putting that out there. Um, that is my Hobby Lobby clearance haul. I am not going to go check out anymore. I don't need anything else. I have pretty much found everything that was on my hunt list. Um, I think, like I said, my next big purchase is going to be the Glimmer uh, Hot Foil system. And when I do that again, there's going to be an unboxing. Again, this, um, I got a really good deal at Ikea, and so I had extra money because um, I'd been saving. Um, I wasn't expecting to get the deal, but I did. And, um, yeah. So, like I said, uh, there's quite a bit in here that's actually going to be giveaway items. And, um, so I hope you keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> Don't forget, tomorrow, it's going to be sometime in the afternoon because, um, I have to go take my daughter shopping. She has a convention that she has to go to and, um, <clears throat> this week, because she's, she's a radiology, um, student at Midwestern. And she has to do, um, what, casual professional. And she's a total gym um, bunny. She loves to work out in her free time. So it, when she's not in class, she's in gym clothes. So her professional attire is almost non-existent. So we got to go pick up a couple things. And then she heads back to school tomorrow and then flies out for her convention on Tuesday. Um... But sometime tomorrow, I am doing the giveaway for um, the the 10,000 Reasons um, giveaway um, hop that's been going on for the past week. That officially ended 
closes tonight. And so I will be doing the drawing for my prize uh, tomorrow. So just be on the lookout for that video. Uh, tomorrow I'll also be sharing my Tuesday morning haul and, um, and building furniture. So uh, I hope you guys have had a great week. I had a really long and rough week at work. It, it was, I thought the week was never going to end. It was not a good week for me. Um, it ended on a good note, but it was a very stressful week. I'm looking forward to this week because I go, I took some leave starting Friday so I could spend all next weekend building the Ikea furniture and getting everything ready for the swap outs. Um, hoping that I can do some moving and getting stuff ready. Um, like I said, I have to wait. Um, two pieces I have to wait for. I don't have a choice. Uh, and those two pieces I have to have before I can really start putting anything in the craft room because um, it, whoever is familiar with Ikea, the Kalax units, I'm doing the 1x4 bookcases, the Kalax. I'm doing two of those on the base. And, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to put stuff that I don't access all the time kind of down there. And that bumps the Alex units up higher so I don't have to bend down as far, if that makes sense. Because it does. It's really hard for me to bend over and get anything that's low. It's, it's very painful for me to do that. So I have to have those bookcases before I can start doing anything else in the craft room. And I keep, you know, again, because it was a soft opening um, for friends and family. They didn't have, I mean, the place looked like it was a full warehouse. I mean, it was stocked. It was... A beautiful beautiful store there's the chandelier um, I'm gonna have to find the picture and share it with you guys if I could figure out how to put it in that craft room I'm gonna put it in there it will serve no purpose other than to look absolutely stunning and gorgeous and be a conversation piece because it doesn't put out a lot of light but it is just even my daughter and my son were like that is gorgeous they're like that would be gorgeous in your craft room so there's that and there's this chair that is like this gorgeous, like mauve and pink, like soft. It's beautiful, but the sucker, I can't remember if it was $150 or $250. And it, all it is is this chair. Absolutely beautiful, wicked comfort, total comfortable. My back was like in total heaven, but it's a desk chair. Yeah, absolutely crazy. So... I have to debate on that or I may have to tell everybody that I want that as like a birthday gift or a Christmas gift I don't know because you know me I don't yeah I don't like to pay full price for anything um, I have run my mouth enough I am so tired it has been a very long day we've been shopping all day for my daughter and um, yeah um, I hope y'all have a great night I hope you guys have a really blessed Sunday um, I was hoping to relax, but I'm, I'm, I got a lot to do. Um, as always, y'all know, I love you guys to pieces and, um, until tomorrow, happy crafting guys. Love you. Bye-bye.